today I'm basically going to be showing you the light swim bait trace that I use up at Vital. Basically anywhere where you're swimming small fish from about a kilo to about five kilos. What we require for that is number two power swivels. They're very very strong. This is rated at about a hundred kilos. This is our 13-0 ring soy hooks, silver in color. Most of my small swim baits that I'm um, swimming, whether it be a shad, three spotted pompano, bonefish, are silver in color, hence the actual silver hook. Because most of my fishing is done in clean water, again, I'm going with a more natural looking color rather than black. So that would be that one there, 175 or 200 pound nylon coated wire, it's up to you. And then again, obviously, pliers, side cutters, a lighter, a knife, old cheapo preferably because they do get damaged. Latex cotton, the Kingfisher one, the thick. Okay, and it's very important that you use the thick one. And as I'm going, I will explain why. Uh, UV light, some loons, you can use super glue if you want, it doesn't really make a difference. Okay, what we do, let's open the packet. The trace, because it's a light one, is only going to be about two meters in length. So I'm just going to just measure off now quickly the two meters that I require for it. It'll be about right. Okay. So there's the wire. The 230 ring soys are offset. And I like offset hooks simply because they actually turn in the fish's mouth and I do it back to back. So basically like that, uh, it will twist when you do pull it out of the fish. So it's got a better chance of actually uh, hook setting in the mouth. Okay, our kingfish latex cotton. And all we really do is just take the cotton we bind it around. Some guys use cable ties if you want to do it very quickly. You can use nylon for it. It doesn't really matter. But any product that actually holds it nice and firmly together. I like latex because when I put the UV knot sense on it, it pretty much goes clear. And it blends in with the silver color of the actual scales of the fish that you might be using. Springer, Bonefish, Shad. And like I said, it's, it's generally your edible fish that I'm swimming on this trace. And again, it's more for clean water areas. Like I said before, Vidal, um, Mapilan, places like that. Zululand as well. If the water is clean, Mission Rocks area, you might have a problem. There's quite a bit of rock there. And most of our swim baiting is done on beaches where there's very little rock. So basically that's what I've done. Tied it on with latex cotton like that. Take a bit of UV knot sense or like I said before super glue doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to put a generous blob of that on. Close it up first. And just take your fingers and rub it in. And all the way around, smooth it out a bit. UV light, just make sure everything's in line. And we just use a UV light to actually bake the loons. Not sense. Just a couple of seconds on each side until it's dry. Turn it over. But if you go outside, the normal sunlight will do the same job. And that, guys, is done. You can see it's no longer tacky. Okay. To tie the knot onto the actual trace is very simple. It's a figure of eight. There's no fancy knot for it. Um, like I say, the quickest, simplest knot generally works the best. So to do that, with wire. I stick my finger around the eye and you're going behind the wire up 
and behind the wire and up. So it's basically gone around twice. It's as simple as that. All I'm going to do is open it up, put my hand inside, slip the tag end through both loops and open it up to form the figure of eight, which basically is your figure of eight forming there now. Okay, it's as simple as that. I'm going to slide it down. I'm going to take this hand, my left hand, stick it inside and pull my right hand. Obviously my right hand's stronger, so I'm just changing things around. So there we go. And you can see how it's pulled tight over there. Just lubricate slightly. Pull tight again and we just slide the knot down to where we want it to be. So about there would be ideal. Now I'm just going to put it onto something that I can actually pull quite hard on. Maybe the pliers might work without getting myself caught up. So I want that knot to seat properly. And there we go. I'm going to cut off the tag end, which is over here. Let's put that down there. Now, you'll see there's a, a bit of play in it. What we do is we just take either the UV knot sense, or we take a lighter. It doesn't really make a difference. I'll just use a lighter to show you the difference that it makes. Now, all I'm going to do is lightly melt the plastic over here so that holds it in place so we've got our loop with a little bit of a, a loop with a little bit of play there so what we do is we just quickly do this and the air cons are playing havoc here at the moment okay and that's all we're doing just melting that plastic there we go so it moves around okay so that's basically what i'm trying to do now, I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to take the plastic coating off. And it's very simple. Don't use a very sharp knife or a good quality knife at all. Use something cheap that you can throw away because it does damage the knife blade. And all we do is just run it down. You can see how the plastic is all coming off. Turn it around. And it works better around a burglar guard door handle. And you can see how the plastic has now come off. And I'm only taking off about 8 to 10 inches of it. And the reason being, when that goes in the Blackfin Zambi's mouth, when you actually hook him, it doesn't peel the, co uh, the nylon down. And you end up with a big blob and then the fish shakes its mouth and spits it out. And it's just a little bit over there. I'm just going to get rid of that bit. There we go, just to neaten it up. Okay. Side here has got a little bit on too. There it is there. So let's take that off. And it just melts into the wire nicely. Okay, 100 percent To attach the swivel. All we do. That's a number two power swivel. We go through the eye. And we do a figure of eight again. So we're going to go around once, twice, back through, open up, and there's the figure of eight forming. Okay. Slide it down to where we want it to be. And now we pull it tight. All we do to pull that. A uh, figure of eight not tight is take our hook, you can use anything that's sharp, a nail, whatever, wrap it around your hand, pull it as tight as you can, take a pair of pliers, and you just lightly give it a bit of a squeeze so you actually kink that wire in. Take our side cutters, pull tight. Just make sure everything's straight. And there's basically our swim bait trace all ready. You've got that movement and flexibility over here. So when the fish are swimming, it doesn't affect the movement too much. 
Your leader line, which would be about 1, 1 1.2 mils, will go into the end of that. And it's just about 2 meters, 1.8 to 2 meters in length. You don't need to make it longer than that. The longer you make the wire, the more resistance there is in the water and the harder the fish has to actually swim. And when you're using very small live baits, shad, bonefish, uh, three-spotted pompano, little kingy, springer, um, the smaller they are, the harder they actually have to fight against the current, against the wind, the resistance of the reel, the braid, the nylon, while it's trying to swim. So keep it as light as possible and your fish will go out a lot further, hence you'll have more chance of actually getting a bite from a big shark. But that is the light tackle swim bait trace that I would use for catching grey sharks, black fins, stuff like that. Okay, that's the length of it guys, simple as that.